So now we've finished reviewing the OE reporting options. I'd like to move on to Somatic IT Intelligence Suite. The in Intelligence Suite allows management and executives to analyze the information that's coming from a plant and multiple plants and then use that to make business decisions. So we'll go ahead and head over to the Somatic IT Intelligence Suite. So in the Somatic IT Intelligence Suite, we have the concept of scorecards and dashboards. Scorecards are ways to store key performance indicators, KPIs, and visualize that data in both tabular and chart format. Dashboards allow you to take multiple scorecards and place them on a dashboard for easy access. So we're going to go through both of those concepts today. So over here we can see we have scorecards. We have a list of scorecards that are already configured and available to us. I'd like to go ahead and show you the adherence to schedule PET line. You can go ahead and click on this and it will go ahead and open up that scorecard for us to view. So the scorecard will load and display information that we've pre-configured that we're interested in, which is specific to our line. Here we can see that the information is broken down by day and order anticipated versus orders delayed and order time overrun, where we have nice color codes to indicate whether we weren't really hitting our targets, whether we're lower than our targets or higher than our targets. This is a nice quick way to tabularly view the information about your particular line. We can also visualize this as a chart. So we'll go ahead and see the chart by clicking view chart. Here we see a graphical representation of that same information. We can hover over each one of the bars to see additional information about what line it is and the value that it currently has. Now a bar graph is nice, but I know some of us really like line charts instead. So we'll go ahead and change this on the fly to a line chart. The line chart, as you can see, displays the same information but in a different format and presentation. This is very nice if you're a guy that really likes line charts versus bar charts. Now I'd like to show you how we're going to create one of these scorecards which is one of the great benefits of the Intelligence Suite. It allows you to create scorecards on the fly in an easy manner. So to do that, we went back to the main menu. We'll click New Scorecard. And this will open up a dashboard with an empty workspace. And in this workspace, we're going to select some KPIs, Key Performance Indicators that we're interested in. So what we're going to do is focus on OEE. I'm going to go ahead and drill down on my right here, which lists all the KPIs, and we'll look for production. We'll go down to OEE, and we'll select availability, performance, and quality. So these are the KPIs that we're interested in. There's currently no data because we need to give some dimension and how we want to visualize this data. So on our left over here is a dimension. A dimension can be an equipment, it can be a line, it can be an order, it can be date and by month, by week, by day. So what we're going to do is select two dimensions to visualize our data. One will be equipment and the other will be by month. So we'll go ahead and do the time first. So I'm going to drill down to the information I'm interested in. So I'm going to drag this onto the workspace and I'm going to add this as a row. And as you can see here it added working month to the grid. The next step will be to add a equipment dimension. So we'll go ahead and go down to our equipment selection and we'll drill down to the equipment level that we're interested in. So we'll drag this over onto our workspace. 
and we'll add it as a row. So now we can see that we have our OE information broken down by month, broken down by equipment, and we see our availability and how well it's hitting its target is same with performance and quality. A nice tabular way to view the information quickly. As you can see, I generated this report on the fly. Now this is one presentation. We can also do the visualization as a chart. So I'm going to click view chart here. And once again, we can visualize the data, the performance, the quality, and the availability. We can also change the chart type. Let's say we prefer a line chart instead. That way, we'll visualize the information as a line chart. Now that I've defined the information I want to see on my scorecard, what I want to do next is save my scorecard for easy retrieval later on. So what I'm going to do is save this scorecard. So I'll name this as David Scorecard and I'm going to give access to everyone because I want them to see this OE scorecard. I consider it an important part of being able to determine the productivity of the plant. So I'll go ahead and click Save and now I've just saved my scorecard. So let's go see this in our scorecard list. So here, as you can see, my new scorecard is available on the list for me to view again at a later time. And it allows me to see the information in the presentation format that I am interested in. So we'll go ahead and create a new dashboard. By going back to dashboards, we'll go over to the right and click new dashboard. Here where we start with a blank workspace. But before we can actually create the dashboard, we need to determine which scorecard information we're interested in. To do that, we can go to our home page and we'll go back to the scorecard that I created earlier. I think this information is vital and I want to share it in a dashboard format. So I, first I have the grid here. I can go ahead and right click on the screen. We'll do the chart instead. Right click on the screen, copy the clipboard just like you would do in Microsoft Word. And then we'll go back to the main menu, dashboards, new dashboard. Once again we have a blank workspace and you can see over here the chart that I just copied is available for me. So I'll drag it onto my workspace and now I have my OEE chart. I'll give it a title, OEE. Now this is one presentation of the dashboard but I want to see more information. What you can do is right click and change the chart environment. We have a few options here. We'll go ahead and do a two side by side which gives us another area that we can add another chart. I'll go ahead and drag a chart onto this area this becomes available, but I want to see this as a line chart instead. So I can change the chart type and change it to a line chart. Now I can see this information both as a bar and as a graph. Now that I've created my dashboard, what I want to do is save my dashboard. So I'll go ahead to the upper right, click Save. I'll give this a new name, David's OEE Scorecard. I'll go ahead and select the users that have this available to them when they log in. I'll select everyone because I want everyone to see the OEE values. Click Save. And my dashboard has now been saved. We'll go ahead and go back to the home page. We'll go to Dashboards. And now you can see that my OEE scorecard that we just created now is available. So we'll go ahead and click on the scorecard and here we go we have the information that I've configured which is the OEE values by month by equipment 
in a bar and line chart. This is the capability of the dashboard and it is very convenient when you, be, when you share this information with other management, with other supervisors to allow them to also see the same information that you're seeing. And you can analyze this between plants. Currently this is information at a single plant, but you can compare plant one to plant two and see how their OEE values are comparing or how their energy consumption is comparing, which will allow you to decide on business tactics and the business direction. Maybe you need to improve the performance at one plant because it's underperforming compared to the others. So as a recap, we went over three main perspectives. First was the op line operator. The line operator sees the OEE touchscreen enabled web-based screen. It's a very simple screen with large buttons and large text that allows them to see the OEE in downtime of the plant. Then we went into the supervisor perspective where the supervisor can analyze the information, the OEE data, the context information, algorithms, and analyze it so you can react and put into effect corrective actions. In addition, we also saw that they can view reports that can be generated. Both out-of-the-box reports are available and you can customize and create your own OEE reports. Then we looked into the management and executive perspective, which is Somatic IT Intelligence Suite. This allows easy creation of scorecards and dashboards to visualize information on the fly and share that with your management team, with your supervisor team, with your operator team, so they can see the same information you see and be able to react to it and increase the performance of each one of your individual plants or down to the plant level where we can increase the performance of lines and machines. So as a recap, we went over an operator perspective, a supervisor perspective, and a management executive perspective. The operators were able to use any web-based OEE screen that's touch enabled, that's easy to use. As you can see, it had large text, large buttons, which is key for operator acceptance. It was easy to use. That allowed the operator to see the OEE values, to see how the line was running, to indicate and react to machine stops. Then we went into the supervisor perspective, where the supervisor can then take the raw OEE information and analyze it and determine what is happening on the line. They also had the reporting option of OEE, which had standard reports that are available for them to print out and review and analyze the production performance for a day. This information is out of the box, but you can also extend it further with SSIS, which is a standard reporting tool of Microsoft. In the last piece, we saw the manage management perspective. The management perspective, using Somatic IT Intelligence Suite, allowed the creation of scorecards and dashboards, which are on-the-fly creation, which allows information being collected at the plant for to be communicated in a tabular or visual format, and then share that information with other users in the company so decisions can be made to identify underperforming plants. So that's a overview of the Somatic IT OEE and Somatic IT Intelligence Suite products and how they provide a top-down perspective of your plant from the control layer to the MES layer that has the OEE piece up to a reporting perspective and to the analysis perspective for management and executives. Thank you for your time today, and if you have any questions, please feel free to visit our website at pilosoft.com for more information.